not sure I've ever mentioned on camera how crazy my filming rig is. Hi, cat. Um, just with the fact the M50 with just how small it is, the adapter, and then the size of the lens I typically use to film myself. What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot. I am slightly hesitant to make this video. I have no idea how well something like this is gonna do. This is partially more for me than it is for you guys, so I'm gonna do this anyway. This is how I got to this moment in my life making YouTube videos for an entire year and what led me to decide to start making them. Just real quick, uh, the reason I'm making this video, a YouTuber that I watch by the name of Sawyer Hartman, he put out a very similar style of video and challenged everyone watching it to make one. So that's what this is. Anyway, this is how I came to make videos on YouTube and why I've been doing it for the past year. So really my video making started back uh, when I was about 16. I ended up going on a mission trip with my church at the time and one of my friends brought along a camera for photography and whatnot and I became enamored with cameras at that point. I started to want my own and I eventually saved up and bought a Canon EOS Rebel T5. Entry level of the entry level type of camera, but it worked for what I wanted for the photography that I was doing at the time. A couple of years later, I found a YouTube channel by the name of Corridor Digital and their second channel, Sam and Nico. I started watching a lot of the Sam and Nico videos and I became extremely interested in visual effects and video making and editing at the time. I then used my camera, my old uh, Canon, to shoot a few random things for my Myself more than anything, edited them, and I uploaded those to YouTube just for the lols, basically. I eventually bought myself a GoPro, used that, filmed um, basically a knife tournament that some of my friends and I had at a studio I was going to for sword fighting at the time, and edited that and uploaded it, and I found that greatly entertaining as well. In 2018, I discovered Sawyer Hartman's YouTube channel, and his vlogs, his videos on camera gear and all that, and I started to get more into the filmmaking. I started wanting to consistently make videos and upload them, but I didn't know what to do, and I ended up falling to a personal passion of mine, filmmaking and storytelling. Not necessarily the filmmaking part so much, but more of the storytelling. I've always been enamored with the way that stories are told, what makes them good, what makes people want to keep coming back to them. Movies are what I enjoy. And so, in early 2019, I recorded and uploaded my first movie review. And I have kept doing those on a weekly basis, almost, since the beginning of last year year. Also during this time, I started having a bit of a decline in my personal mental health. Not anything major, but I kind of ended up in a spot that I personally didn't enjoy being in, and I didn't I didn't want to be there, but I didn't know of a way out. And making and editing the, the videos for me was kind of an escape from that. But I started getting worse as 2019 went on, because my grandmother's health was declining and I learned very soon that she had pancreatic cancer. That hit me hard because there's no coming back from that. And that just contributed to the continued decline for me. And so I just kept using videos as almost an escape mechanism. I started to just make them more and more for myself and I just kept making them and going. I eventually started doing a few more scripted type of videos, uh, one of which is on uh, my first Dungeons & Dragons character. I did a video on like why I personally believe that everyone should play Dungeons & Dragons, and then one on why horror sucks, why I think modern horror is just really bad. But that's honestly what brought me here. It's a discovery of multiple channels that are about filmmaking, inspiring me to start making my own videos on what I enjoy, which is filmmaking and storytelling. And I'm gonna continue to upload videos. This is what I enjoy doing. 
I find so much joy in it. I have a lot of things that I need to work on in my personal life. Most of that is things that are very personal to me. I need to get a little bit better at talking to the camera. Uh, just, I'm a very jittery and I don't really look at people typically while I do stuff anyway. But I've been doing this for about a year and I'm just gonna keep going. This is what I enjoy doing and there's nothing that people can do to stop me. Anyway, that's how I got to the point of making videos for an entire year on YouTube. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, have a great day, guys. Peace out.